In our cantilever beam experiment, we've taken a two by four, mounted it to a dock with screws and marked it every foot. It is five feet long hanging out. We will attempt to walk from one foot to two feet to three feet and measure how much it deflects. Right now, it is exactly two feet from the top of the two by, from the bottom of the two by four to the ground. Go. All right, so we're uh, walking out to the <laughs> foot now. It's deflected about an inch and a half. Keep going. All right. About two foot now. Um, we're at about three and a half inches of deflection. <laughs> I feel like it's going to come up and hit me. At three foot. Um, we've gone from two feet to five and a half inches. Or no, a foot and five and a half inches. My fault. All right. One more. One more. <laughs> we predict it will break here. No way. <laughs> he's he's almost at the mark and it's deflected down to a foot. Oh, I heard a crack. <laughs> I heard inches. a crack. <laughs> All right. It's deflected to a foot and three inches standing at four feet away. I don't think he wants to go to five No. Feet. No, go ahead and do it. You got to break it. It might hold. No, it's <laughs> no, definitely it's gonna break. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're gonna do it. It broke exactly where we predicted at, where the moment is highest at the base of the beam. Also, there's a knot right here, so we're pretty sure that contributed to the point where it broke. On our test, we used a pine 2x4, so in the back of the book, we found southern pine and went off the modules of elasticity and our numbers came out here to be pretty close to uh, what the actual numbers were.